Hey everyone, this is Electra. We are going to make her with Blender Default Cube. We are going to use old Classics Box modeling method and subdivision modeling. If you are beginner, then also no problem. I will show the process step by step. So, first select the cube and go to Edit Mode. Then press right click mouse button and select Subdiv D to divide the cube. After press Shift, Alt S and press 1 to make cube round in shape. Then go to side view and turn on the X-ray mode from right hand up corner of interface. Then select bottom vertices by pressing B on keyboard for box selection and press G to move vertices down. Make the shape like ours bike helmet shape. Then go to up left corner and select face mode and then select the four bottom face and press I to insert then press Alt-S to bulge out the bottom faces, and after pressing E to extrude, then S to scale little bit, and make the cylinder shape. After select the edge mode and select the neck loop of edges, then press S to scale, and then after scaling press G to move backward. And now you can see the blocky head. I'm sure everybody has completed this much. Then select the loop tool from left middle corner of interface and add the loop as I'm giving. This loop cut I'm giving is not random, but purposely I'm giving. You will understand in process, so don't worry. Just follow along and give the loop to our head. Again, I'm sure you have completed this much. Now you can see our cube is much resembling to human head. Then save this project by giving name head one and save it. Okay, everyone, now select the whole middle edge loop. After selecting, press Ctrl B to make two edges. This will give space for nose. After go to middle left corner and select the loop cut tool and cut the loop in middle of the head. This middle loop will serve symmetry on both sides, which will be very useful later during applying mirror modifier. Later you will see. Then select the top six face of head and press I to insert. This will our eye region. After select front four bottom face and press I to insert. This will be useful for make mouth and nose. Then select top two faces from eye region and press I to insert. This will serve as eye socket and eyelids. Okay everybody, I'm sure you all have come this far. You probably now have understood the concept and tutorial we have cover. Okay, now save it and we will start our journey. Still too much to go. Now select loop tool and give loop cut on both side of head. Then select the face mode and select the front middle faces and press I to insert. This will be nose. Then select two faces and press G then Y to pop out the nose. Then go to edge mode and select two edges and go to side view and press G to pop outside. After select loop tool and give horizontal cut to eye region. Select the front two faces and go to up and turn on the proportional editing. Then press G and Y to pop out the mouth and you can control the circle by mouse middle button and control Z to undo the process if something went wrong and shift control Z to redo the process. Then select the nose side, three edges on both sides. You can also turn off proportional editing if you don't want. Then press S and X to make nose bridge clear. After go to vertex mode and select two vertices and do same them. Then select Tweak Tool from left-hand side and you can start tweaking the vertices. Then select the edge of nose and move little bit in front. Mm -hmm. 
After go to face mode and select the first face and select the last one face by pressing control, you will see all faces within their way will be selected. Then press I to insert and this will be our opening of mouth. After select a loop tool and give loop cut to forehead and press Alt S to bulge out the forehead a little bit. Then look model around and go to vertex mode and start tweaking. After go in X-ray mode and press B and select the half vertices of head and press X to delete them and add mirror modifier and make sure you turn on the clipping. Then select the eye faces and press Alt S and inflate eyes inside to make eye socket. Then look around the head model. Then go to side view and start tweaking the jawline vertices and chin vertices after save your project. Hey everybody, we did the part one. But journey doesn't end here, they're still remaining. So thank you for accepting me as your tutor. We will meet in next part.